Afro-Latin people helped shape jazz music as we know it today in many, many ways. From Willy Bobo to Mungo Santa Maria to this next individual I'm going to talk about, Afro-Panamanian Louis Russell. <laughs> Louis Russell is a renowned jazz pianist, arranger, songwriter, and band leader who worked super closely with the Louis Armstrong. Born on August 5th, 1902 in Carining Cay, Panama, he won the lottery at the age of 17 in 1919, and he used his winnings to move to New Orleans with his mother and his sister. Using his vast knowledge and talent with instruments and musical composition, he was able to move around the United States working with jazz greats. In 1925, Lewis moved to Chicago to join the jazz scene up there. Um, you know, music has its music and art kind of had their moments in certain places. And so it was popping off in New Orleans, but then it started to move up north into the Chicago region. And so Lewis was like, voy pa allá. So he went up to Chicago and shortly upon arrival, he worked with King Oliver. King Oliver is a legend in the jazz scene. King Oliver is credited with expanding jazz music across the United States. So here you have this dude who came from Panama, from literally winning the lottery, going to Panama, moved to New Orleans, moved to Chicago, and is working with King Oliver who has bought jazz around the United States. To give you a sense of how big of a deal this man is, he is the man who taught and mentored Louis Armstrong. So this was a huge deal. Louis learned as much as he could from King Oliver. And of course, he brought his own musical stylings and talent to the performances. In 1927, he moved to New York City and formed his own band. This band recorded several records and played across New York City. And it's said that his band played the best swing music around. So he got the place hopping, okay? Jumping, I don't know what they used to say back then, but he was like, he was lit, okay? Not before long, Lewis's band was playing background for Louis Armstrong. And so Lewis directed the orchestra that accompanied Louis Armstrong from 1935 to 1943. Lewis's own reputation for being an amazing musician, director, and composer, coupled with his work with Louis Armstrong, made Lewis a key figure in the budgeting jazz and swing music scene in New York City during the 1930s. Lewis and Louis had a lifelong friendship. They would tour together, they would play together, and they would work alongside one another and always, always, always giving people amazing music. Lewis's band played at the Savoy and the Apollo theaters many, many times. And so the, the Savoy Club was like the place to be when it came to jazz in Harlem. Lewis married Caroline Ray, a highly accomplished jazz musician, and they had a daughter, Catherine Russell. Catherine followed in her parents' footsteps and has worked with notable musicians like Madonna, Gloria Stefan, Steely Dan, and many, many others. Lewis is credited with several songs and albums. His multi-year career meant he released several albums, many which you could find and enjoy across YouTube and Spotify today. Russell passed away an international music making and changing artist in New York City at the age of 61. Be sure to check out my playlist that features Afro-Latin jazz musicians um, if you're really interested in how Afro-Latinos helped shape jazz and change the jazz music scene. Thank you.